Susquehanna Medical Center operates a general hospital in northeastern Pennsylvania. The medical center also rents space and beds to separately owned entities rendering specialized services such as pediatrics and psychiatric care. Susquehanna charges each separate entity for common services such as patients, meals and laundry, and for administrative services such as billings and collections. Space and bed rentals are fixed charges for the year based on bed capacity rented to each entity. Susquehanna Medical Center charges the following cost of pediatrics for the year ended to June 30th, 2005. Okay, and so what we see is in terms of patient days, which is our variable cost driver, we're charging dietary, janitorial, laundry, various expenses. Bed capacity is considered a fixed cost, and we have janitorial, repairs, maintenance, G&A, and rent. Billings and collections are also applied based on patient days, or, or is a, represents a variable cost. Now, during the year ended June 30th, 2005, pediatrics charged each patient an average of $360 per day, had a capacity of 60 beds, and had revenue of $7.2 million for 365 days. In addition, pediatrics directly employed personnel with the following annual salary cost per employee. And we're reading here, it says, supervising nurses, $30,000, nurses, $24,000, and aides, $10,800. Susquehanna Medical Center has the following minimum department personnel requirements based on total annual budgeted patient days. And let me slide down so we can see more of this now. All right, and that should give us all of the problem now. So annual patient days up to 22,000. There's four supervising nurses, 10 nurses, and 28s. And you can read what happens at, at patient days of 22,001 22, to 26,000 and 26,001 to 29,200. I'm reading the next area down in here now. Pediatrics always employs only the minimum number of required personnel. Salaries of supervising nurses, nurses and aides are therefore fixed within a range of annual patient days. Pediatrics operated at 100% capacity on 90 days during the year ended June 30, 2005. Administrators estimated that on these 90 days, pediatrics could have filled another 20 beds above capacity. Susquehanna Medical Center has additional 20 beds available for rent for the year ended June 30, 2006. Such additional rental would increase pediatrics fixed charges based on bed capacity. So in the following requirements, ignore taxes. Let me slide again. Okay, so the requirement for requirement one is calculate the minimum number of patient days required for pediatrics to break even for the year ending June 30, 2006 if the additional 20 beds are not rented. Patient demand is unknown, but assume that revenue per patient day, cost per patient day, cost per bed, and salary rates will remain the same as for the year ended June 30, 2005. Okay, now you see the solution on the screen. And let me illustrate how we came up with the break-even point of 16,900 patient days. All right. Medical center charges were three million four hundred and eighty thousand. Now let's find that. That's the starting fixed cost of bed capacity that was given, the total of the various items, three million four hundred and eighty thousand. Right? So what we're trying to do first is calculate the total fixed cost. Then the thirty thousand per nurse the 24,000 and then the aids were the fixed cost at that level of activity. And when we multiply 30,000 times four nurses, 24,000 times, oh, that was supervising nurses, 24,000 times 10 nurses, and 10,800 times 20 aids, we come up with these amounts here for a total fixed cost of 4056. That's 4,056,000. And that nursing information all appears here, right? Okay, and how do we know it's only up to 22,000? Because we have to compute what the patient's day were. In the variable cost per patient day, they gave us 7.2 million divided by an average cost of 360 per patient day. So if we take the total 
7.2 million billing divided by 360, we're able to determine that there was 20,000 patient days. And where you come up with that information is right here. 7.2 7 million was the revenue they had. 360 um, was the average charge for the pediatrics department. So with that information, it's, it's, uh, we're able to come up with 20,000 patient days. Then we know that there was variable cost of 2.4 million, and we need to divide that by the 20,000 patient days to come up with the variable cost per patient day. The 2.4 million is the total right here of the variable costs. All right. So now that we know what the total fixed costs are and uh, the total variable costs, and this is for pediatrics, we simply divide fixed costs, the 4056 divided by the contribution margin per patient day, and we derive 16,900 patient days, which is the answer to number one. Okay, now I've slid back down to the problem so we can read number two on the bottom here. Assume that patient demand, revenue per patient day and cost per patient day, cost per bed and salary rates for the year ended June 30th all remain the same for uh, remain the same for the year ended June 30th 2005 I think that may, might be for the next year prepare a schedule or for, I, th I think they may have the years reversed here prepare a schedule of pediatrics increase in revenue and increase in cost for the year ended June 30th 2006 determine the net increase or decrease in pediatrics earnings for the additional 20 beds if pediatrics rents this extra capacity from Susquehanna Medical Center. All right, and here's the solution to part two. And the, the final answer is net, er, net earnings would decrease by 728,000. But let's illustrate how we come up with that. 20 additional beds for 90 days at an average cost of 360 would generate 648,000 increase in revenues. The variable charges by the medical center were 20 additional beds, 90 days at 120 per day. Now when we look at the fixed charges, we had 3,480,000 divided by 68, 60 beds, which gets us $58,000 per bed. So 58,000 times 20 beds is 1,160,000. And where that 3438 came from was that number right there. So if I move the scroll up a little bit, you see that uh, the 3438 was the fixed cost of the bed capacity, or our fixed cost. OK. So if we had salaries, which were 20,000 patient days before the additional beds, plus 20 additional beds times 90 days, that gets us 21,800. Now, that doesn't exceed the 22,000 patient days, so we don't run into any additional personnel. So when we add all three of those items together, plus the zero for additional salaries, we wind up with a total increase in expenses of $1,376,000. Additional revenue, I said three items, it's actually these expenses here. If we add up the 216, the 1160 plus the zero to get a million three seventy six, we subtract that from the incremental revenue of six forty eight, we see that the net change in earnings from rental of, of an additional twenty bids would result in a decrease in earnings of seven hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars.